The overall goal of this method is to generate a choroid plexus epithelial cell-based model of the human blood cerebrospinal fluid barrier, enabling the study of bacterial infections from the basal lateral side. This method can help to answer key questions about infectious diseases of the central nervous system, such as which processes are involved during bacterial interactions with the choroid plexus epithelium. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows analysis of the interactions of pathogens with the basal lateral blood side of epithelial cells. This method can also be applied to other studies, such as to the investigation of the transmigration of immune cells and tumor cells across the choroid plexus epithelium. I first had the idea for using the human choroid plexus papilloma or hip CPP cells for this method when I read the 2005 manuscript by Ishiwata et al. describing the cell line. Begin by using sterile forceps to place 0.33 cm squared growth area cell culture filter inserts with three micron size pores upside down into individual wells of a 12 well plate. Then, with a serological pipette, flood the well with about three milliliters of the pre-warmed medium, aspirating any extra solution until the lower compartment is just filled. Next, Add 100 microliters of 37 degrees cell culture medium supplemented with 10% FCS on top of the filter. When adding the medium, it is very important.